Scorpio, what's going on? It's your girl D here with 8th House Energy. Here to bring you your 8-8 portal slash 8 New Moon and Leo reading. You guys have Leo in the 10th house. Okay? That's to do with your career, money, finance, how you see yourself, how other people see you as far as your reputation, things like that. So let's see what messages we got for you. It's going to be a really quick reading. Um, it's going to be general. So take what resonates, leave the rest. All right. Let's see what we got going on for Scorpio. In reference to this 8-8 uh, portal, I did put a post in the community tab about the 8-8 portal. If you want to know more about it, feel free to check that out. Also, today is day one of the 21-day detox that we're doing. Check out the community portal for that. Uh, it's a great way for you to uh, heal after dealing with a lot of the karmic connections that you've come out of. Your spirit is wounded. Your aura is wounded. Uh, it will help you to repair. You know, It helps you to heal your chakras. You know, so that you can get ready for the next level of tests that are coming. Because it don't stop, won't stop, baby. This is why we're here. That you're here to experience and to learn. And your lessons are always going to come in the form of people, places, and things closest to you. So a lot of you just came out of battle. All right? It's time for you to heal, rest up, get ready. All right? Warrior mode. Let's see what we got going on for Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio. Doesn't matter what placement you have. It could relate to any placement of Scorpio. Take what does, uh, take what resonates, leave the rest, okay? If you need a personal, my information's in the box below. Scorpionic energy messages for Scorpio. All right, again, we're dealing with the 8-8 uh, eight, eight portal and the new moon in Leo. For you all, it's in your 10th house. Overall energy here is the uh, death energy. This is your energy showing up. You showing up in your reading like what? Transformation, baby transformation all right let's see what we got going on here so we got the page of swords all right libra energy we have the nine of pentacles in reverse virgo energy we have a major arcana here of the hierophant is that the hierophant i was trying not to okay yeah that's the hierophant major arcana of the hierophant taurus energy that's your opposite polarity all right, we have the Six of Cups in reverse. That's your energy, Scorpio. And then we have the Queen of Swords, which is Libra. All right, so. What's the situation going on with your career? All right, so Page of Swords energy. So definitely doing some research. A lot of you are um, studying, doing research. Doing a lot of, I get a lot of reading. I get a lot of writing, documenting. Um, this will be a good time for you to write down your manifestations as well. In, re in reference to this 8-8 eight, eight portal in the new moon in Leo, you know new moons are all about manifesting. All right, so for some of you, whatever you're writing down, um, <clears throat> the various forms of spell work you're doing, whether it's manifestations, whether you're writing petitions. Uh, but this is the time to do it, baby. Definitely the time to do it. Uh, a lot of you, I feel like too, um, you know, in reference to your transformation and what's going on, a lot of you are doing um, some self-realization, studying yourself, studying the things that you've been through. Maybe you're writing down some of the things you've been through. Some of you could be wanting to write a book. That's what I was feeling, too, for some of you in reference to uh, what you've been through, what you've experienced. The challenge is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse here. Huh. So you're trying to figure out if something is worth it. If something is worth the effort or energy, it's what I'm feeling here. Your spirit guides, guardian angels, and ancestors want you to keep on keep in mind your ascension process, the hierophant energy. Okay? And then where your head is at, it's six of cups in reverse. So this is about letting go of the past, moving on, maybe having some unrealistic expectations about a situation. The outcome is the queen of swords energy. So this is all about, you know, accepting the fact that there could be some information that you're enlightened about, some truth that you have to accept, some reality that you're going to have to uh, deal with in some way, shape, or form. All right, but let's get some clarity on this and see what's up. Let's look at these top five cards first. So we have the Death Energy here. Then we have the Page of Cups, the Two of Swords. Was this the Lovers? The Lovers came out in reverse for a Gemini Energy. And then the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You guys got um, Gemini in your um, eighth house. So 
some of y'all may have somebody coming back towards you. Somebody who uh, wants to revive a relationship that ended with this Page of Cup energy here. And you could be confused about this. You're not sure what to do. Some of you are going through a transformation and um, you may meet someone new is what I'm feeling as well. Some of you may meet someone new, uh, but I feel like you are confused if you should um, take advantage of this situation because of the fact of what you've been through in the past. Some of you, uh, <clears throat> either this is somebody coming back from the past or this is somebody new. But with the... Uh, with the lover's energy in reverse and the ten of pentacles in reverse here, some of you may not be ready. You may not have healed completely from the past connection or maybe you're feeling like you haven't. This is why with the challenge energy here with the nine of pentacles, you're not sure if it's worth taking a risk with this person. So somebody may reach out to you or you may connect with someone intellectually. Or there could be some type of communication that comes in with this page of sword energy. But your spirit guides, guardian angels and ancestors want you to keep in mind the hierophant energy. Uh, this could be family members, okay, that you've outgrown or moved past and you're not sure if you should trust them or not. Let's get um, let's get some clarity on this and see what's up. Because this is all about, you know, the 10th house deals with your morals as well. You know, your life goals, your morals, your ethics. You know, um, it deals with how people see you, your reputation, how you see yourself, as well as career. Well, that's way too many. This is Page of Swords. Page of Swords energy. Some of you may have an idea about something. You're getting ideas about something. You got the Six of Wands in reverse. So it could be that this communication here with the Six of Wands in reverse is, is communication from someone that you really don't want to hear from. Again, I feel like with the Six of Wands in reverse here and then the... the uh, the uh, death energy here. This is a situation that was over. Maybe you lost in a situation with this person. Or, you, you know, you, you decided that it's not worth your time. What's this nine of pentacles in reverse here? I don't know if this is somebody who could be married as well for some of you. You may be dealing with someone. Yeah, so we have the, the challenge is the uh, nine of pentacles in reverse. You seeing if something is worth it or not. Clarify with the king of swords. What's this Hierophant energy? Whoops. Drop the card. Hold on. All right. What's this Hierophant energy here? Is this in reference to a family situation? We have the Strength energy. Major Arcana clarifying a Major Arcana. Let me get the rest of the cards out here. Six of Cups in reverse. Clarify with the Hierophant showing up again. So we're really emphasizing. Okay, so for some of you, this is about brothers and sisters, siblings. Okay, is what I feel for some of you here. <coughs> excuse me and we got the moon energy in reverse with the queen of swords uh-huh okay all right this is starting to come through here so let's see page of swords libra energy here and the six of wands in reverse leo in reverse okay There's some type of communication, I feel like. But um, the communication is, I feel like it's from somebody or people who, I feel like they're not feeling you. I feel like they could be trying to communicate with you for ulterior motives. The challenge is, is you're trying to figure out if you should even entertain the communication. Is what I'm getting here. Because I feel like you've accepted, you've accepted the fact that the situation is not going to work out. You've accepted the fact that the situation is not going to work out. The challenge is, is that there could be some communication coming in and you're like, I don't even know if I want to entertain this. Yeah, for some of you, it's, it's relatives. Could be siblings. But uh, we got the hermit energy. I'm sorry, the hierophant and the strength energy. So I feel like for some of you, this per these people... They're just trying to control you in some way, shape, or form. They're trying to stop your progress or stop your growth. Where your head is at, though, is this unrealistic expectations here with the Hierophant energy. Yeah, it's like 
they're not gonna stop you. This is how you're. This is where your head is at. Like, please, you're not gonna stop me. You know what I'm saying? And the outcome is the Queen of Swords energy and the Moon energy in reverse. So it's like, yeah, you already know what time it is. It's like, yo, this is over. I already told you. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, we could be cool and everything. Or I don't even feel like you're feeling like we could be cool. I feel like you're. For some of you, like I said, this is siblings. For others of you, this is just, you know, a lover. Okay, wanting to come back in. Um, somebody that things didn't work out with in the past. Wanting to come back in. Yeah, because here's the lover's energy in reverse here. This is somebody you may have had a karmic connection with. Um, and with the ten of pentacle energy in reverse here. This is somebody who could have been disloyal, dishonest, trying to take from you. Yeah, this is somebody who's trying to control you. I feel like for some of you, you know, you have a platform where people see you. This person is trying to make you look bad. They could be trying to talk bad about you behind your back. You know, again, it could be family members. If it's not a family member, it could be um, an ex who's just pissed off because you cut them off. What's this? Uh, what's the Six of Pentacles? I mean, Six of Wands. Yeah, Seven of Swords in Reverse. So, yeah, this is somebody who's coming back around. <laughs> this is somebody who's coming back around. They want to reach out to you. Somebody who lost. And they're mad. This is a fucking sore loser here is what this is. Somebody who's pissed because their shit didn't work. Whatever plan they had. You're doing your thing. They're mad because, you know, you, they couldn't get you or do you dirty the way they wanted to. The challenge is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the King of Swords, and the Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, the thing is, is that, uh, you know, whatever they were trying to do didn't work. For some of you, they could have been trying to uh, do, I don't know, what the hell they could have been trying to do. For other, for some of you, it's just all about taking your money and taking your shine. Some of you have a platform. You have followers. And um, what's the strength energy here? Clarify the strength energy. We have that clarified with the devil energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person, for some of you, it's family members. Hating on you. Trying to control the situation because they're jealous of you. Some of you, they're afraid of you. I feel like for some of you, whoever did some dirt to you is coming back to them. And they're also getting a little nervous about that. Uh, for others of you, yeah, I feel like a strong energy of family trying to control the situation. Toxic ass family members that you cut off. That you cut off. Now they want to try to come in. Yeah, see, you knew what time it was. It's like, you can't fool me. I left the past behind. Um, you know, I'm focused on my ascension. So, I, you know, I can't deal with you anymore. The past is the past. Yeah, this is people who don't want to let go. I'm trying to make you look bad, too. Uh, the outcome is the, the Queen of Swords energy here. Your emotions are just cut off towards these people. With the moon energy in reverse. You know they're jealous and they're hating. And they can't sleep at night with the four swords in reverse. Yeah, this is what this is. Jealousy, envy, and hate. So some of you is family members. For others of you it's an ex-lover. Just mad as fuck. <laughs> For some of you, you're, you're very successful. In what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, and you making money. You're going to make money, too. Some of you are going to be financially stable, financially successful. Look at this energy here. This is the Hierophant, the Strength Energy, and the Devil Energy. Yeah, your spirit guides, guardian angels are, are telling you just to focus on your spiritual ascension. Keep doing what you're doing, and you're going to be good. I like that energy, Scorpio. That's what's up. But, yeah, you got people who are hating on you, trying to come in and take from you financially. Uh, hmm. Yeah, definitely trying to come in and take action towards you to try to cause you unnecessary drama and strife. But you already caught these people out there in the first place. You already knew they were talking bad about you with the Page of Swords, the Six of Pentacles in reverse, and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. You already caught this person out there. Now they're trying to come back in or these people. You already know what time it is with them. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Let's get you some advice. Yeah, uh... Jealousy and envy. Mad because you cut them off. Yeah, see? Not for you came out. These people are not for you. 
not for you at all. Whoever this was. This is why you moved on. Family members, uh, ex-lovers. Like, it's no need to go back to the past. It's just no need. It's absolutely no need. Yeah, be at home. Just be comfortable with you. These people are trying to make you feel as if something you're doing is wrong or, you know, they try to knock you off your horse. They look at you as somebody who they're jealous of. It's like, who is this person? Who do they think they are? Who does she think she is? Who does he think he is? A lot of you have followers. You're very successful in what you do. And these people are jealous and they're angry about it. And they want to try to come back in specifically to just knock you off of your, your horse. Period. Period. So you got to be careful, you know, with what you're doing, who you're dealing with. Be careful with partnering up with people who, um, you just need to watch out for who comes towards you. But yeah, I definitely feel like there was a past karmic situation with that lover's energy in reverse. Uh, whether, and again, we got the six of cups in reverse. So for some of you, the six of cups in the hierophant, to me that represents siblings. It could represent a, a marriage, a partner that you've gotten uh, away from. Uh, whether you were married to this person or whether this person may, some of you may have been dealing with someone who was married. You cut this person off. They got pissed. Uh, some of you, this person could be trying to come in and pretend that they went through a spiritual ascension and it's a bunch of BS. Don't go back. All right, Scorpio, that's what I got for you for your 8-8 portal slash new moon and Leo reading. If you need a personal, I'm at 8 at gmail.com. Take care.